Now let's go ahead and look at the provider view and see what information that gives us perceptive to the information that we need. It's exactly the same thing as GeoView with respect to the information that we'll go into. But what this does, it gives you very specific information categorized on the providers that you may care about. If you are going ahead and sending messages to the Fortune 5000 in the US or Fortune 10,000 or perhaps even 50,000 in the US, there's a very, very good chance that you are going to be dealing with Microsoft 365 accounts. So it matters to you a lot more that you're sending out to Microsoft 365 accounts and how you're performing there. And the good part with Smart Lead as well, because we go ahead and give you the MX record data, you can actually see your lead's MX record information so you can better prepare yourself to know if your lead quality is set a certain way then by nature of fact, if that lead quality is pointing mainly towards a Gmail or an Outlook or so on and so forth, but looks like your mailboxes are just not equipped to handle a certain ESP because that ESP does not like you for a variety of reasons, you can make that change proactively and always be one step ahead. So if you've seen the video about the GeoView, it's very similar except it's organized in a different way. So if you click on the Outlook 365, you can see the same information that you would have seen previously with respect to the sender accounts and how they're performing to different Outlook accounts, the 48 Outlook accounts that we've got over here. And these are the IP addresses from which you have sent messages and whether you pass the SPF records and the blacklist that you're part of as well. And you yourself will start seeing some patterns and interesting information pieces with respect to, hey, how long has it taken? And therefore it's gone in the primary, secondary, or blah, blah, blah. Or if we go ahead and look into the number of blacklists that you listed off, whether your, your SPF or DCAMBA failed and succeeded, perceptive to that, whether you've landed in the primary or secondary folder as well. All these things, you will start getting a beautiful, magical, you know, picture of this. And of course, Smart Lead as a company is going to work very proactively to make that information as simple and straightforward as possible for you post launch as well. Because if you're watching this video, you're watching it right at the time when Smart Lead has launched. And by the time you watch this, there may be tons of changes as well, tons of advancements and tons of value. Uh, one of the things that will be most obvious is one of these things you can click on and they will show you all the blacklists that you have been part of. When I say you, it is the sending IP address that was listed over here. So I hope this helps and have a fabulous day. Check out the other videos to help you consistently land in the primary folder every single email that you send.